Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. Um, my name is Brighton and I am a part-time reseller and I like to open mystery boxes, um, almost strictly jewelry. Um, but today we have a thread up, no, <laughs> got you there. No, we have a good little blue box. Um, guys, this one is coming from Tennessee. Yikes, um, if you don't know, Jewelry boxes from Tennessee are, in my opinion, the absolute worst. But, you know, we'll see. Maybe there'll be some hidden gems in here that they missed. I just feel like they they really pick through their stuff. So we do have this to unbox. If we have time, I also have three, I think three, sterling silver lots to open from Shop Goodwill. Also, guys, if you haven't noticed my jewels from today... Um, I got this turquoise and eyelate bracelet from my last video as I did the turquoise inlaid ring. I will link it right here. Um, so definitely go and check out that video. It was really good. Let's get into this though. Again, this one is from um, middle of Tennessee, Nashville. It doesn't say the weight. Usually it says the weight. I don't know. This doesn't say the weight. So I'm assuming it's just that five pounds. All right, there we go. There's our first look. I uh, see some silver tone, some gold tone, a lot of costume. Let's lure you guys some. Not too bad, not too bad. I don't see anything amazing right off hand, but um, not bad. Let's see, this looks fun. Looks like it could be Brighton. So, all right, let's get into it. Let's put it to the side and let's pull out some pieces. Should have opened it from the bottom. Oh well, this will work. This will work. Oh guys, we have tangles. Ah, we have, look at this tangle. Okay, anything that's not in the tangle, we're just gonna pull over here to the side. Also, guys, I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who subscribed from my last video. Guys, you guys um, got me from 3,500 to 3,600 subscribers in a week. That's 100 new subscribers. So hello to all of my new friends. I appreciate everyone for subscribing. If you are new and you haven't hit that subscribe button already, please go and do so. Just hit that little button right down there that says subscribe and make sure you have bell notifications turned on so you know when I upload a new video. Um, I do would like I would like to put up a jewelry auction sale. I'm thinking maybe this Sunday. I don't know yet. Um, I'm still thinking about it. This looks like a sterling clasp. But I don't see maker's marks. I don't think the actual bracelet itself is sterling. No, it is not. But that clasp could be. So we will put that to the side to test the clasp. It's a nice bracelet. Let's get a length on it. It's like an antique matte silver tone. It is a seven inch bracelet. So we will test that clasp. Okay. Test. Okay, look at this stunning abalone inlay cuff bracelet um i want to say this is alpaca i do not think this is sterling if you don't know alpaca is kind of like a mix of metals um like a pop metal almost um um this does look like it's on the smaller side so <laughs> i would probably say like a six six and a half maybe that's really pretty that's really nice it's a nice one our first like good piece so far all right we have this piece of mother of pearl shell and then all of these little pieces of tiger's eye let's do um five dollars on this one we have shell and tiger's eye with wooden beads it will fit any neck size all right we have a bangle that will go into craft um i'm not doing craft bags so um, anything that I say is craft is a dollar unless you want the whole bag of crafts. So this will just be a dollar if anyone wants it. All right. Um, we have this pretty earring. I'm not sure what the T stands for. So we have that earring. All the earrings I will just put to the side in case we find matches. This looks like a Alex and Ani. 
It is. Oh, it's a Luca in Lex. I I don't think I've ever heard of that. I thought when I first saw the tag, I thought it was the um, Danny, but it's not. It's Luca and Lex. Don't know that brand. There is a little mark on the Bumblebee. Not sure if that can get cleaned off or not. No, that's pretty bad. We'll just do a dollar on it. There is some wear on that. So let us be a dollar craft. Oh, this is a four ocean bracelet. If you don't know what four oceans are, they take glass and plastic from the ocean and um, they recycle it into beads, a charity. So I think the or at least partial of the proceeds from their sale goes to ocean cleanup. So this is really nice. These actually do have a, a good following. They're kind of similar to the um, the Pure Vita, but these actually retail for a little bit more. If anyone wants that, we'll just do $5. Those are good. Those are good. Okay, we have a little earring. It's pretty. These are all earrings. Anything that's an earring, we will just put to the side and we will take a closer inspection on. Um, earring, earring. Oh, that's a cute little um, reindeer. These are all earrings. Oh, and we do have the match those. So we will look, take a look at those. Those are all singles. So these are faux pearl gold tone with um, rhinestones. Look like they're in pretty good condition. These would be perfect for um, Christmas. Let's just do $2 on those. Really cute. Two bucks. All right. We have a broken something that will go into craft. Okay, we have this really pretty ring. This gives me major Kate Spade vibes. I don't see any maker's marks. So it is a like cream enameled flower, very 3D. And it's a gold tone band, which is in really good condition. I don't see any like copper or anything coming through. It is a seven and three quarters. So just shy of five or just shy of eight. <laughs> All right. Um, Sorry, I dropped it. Um, let's do $3 on this. This is really pretty. So $3 on that gold tone enamel flower ring. That is nice. Okay. I think we already showed that. Oh, we have another match of earrings. These are pretty. So we have little orange glass with art glass um, and beads. So it's all art glass. I don't think these are sterling. They are not, oh, they are very slightly magnetic. Um, let's just do $2 on those. So it's orange glass and then like an art glass in the middle. Really cute, we'll do $2. Okay, we have all of these bangles. Um, this one looks really nice. This one feels nice and looks nice. So we may test that. Okay, we have this bracelet. It gives me Brighton vibes. It is like a wicker kind of woven inset um, design. And it has like this like beaded um, on either side of it. It is a clamper. It's in really good condition. Let's just do $2 on it. Really nice. Okay, that'll go in craft. Okay, we have another nice bangle. This one has a lot of wear. It could be sterling though. And that's why it has a lot of wear. Nope, it is not. Okay, so that's correct. A dollar. Okay, we have this little bracelet that says Chosen. Really cute. It has a lot of wear, so I'll go into craft. We have a hoop earring. We have a dangle earring. This looks like sterling. It is marked, I believe, 925. So hopefully we get the match that little single earring. Okay, we have that earring. Okay, we have this little bracelet. It's really cute. It is like a brass ring with a brass wire. It is adjustable. Someone wanted $12 for it. Let's just do $2. Okay. This looks like it's sterling as well. Let's see. This is, oh, this is Vantal Pearls. Oh, wow. Vantal Pearls is actually a pretty good brand to keep an eye out for. Let's see. Okay. I don't see a sterling mark, but we will test it. But this is Vantal Pearls. Um, this is a real pearl. They use real pearls real freshwater pearls um, and it has a little initial J charm on there with a little spacer bead in between. So hopefully I will have a price on the screen and we will obviously test it. But Vantal Pearls is a pretty good brand to keep an eye out for. 
not super high resale, but they definitely re um, new are expensive. This is a Kenneth Cole earring. This is a really pretty. This reminds me of Alexis Batar. Don't see a maker's mark though. All right. Wouldn't it be crazy if we got another Yerman piece? That kind of gave me like, um, if you didn't watch my video, um, I did a Goodwill blue box just like this, but I got a David Yerman bullet necklace out of it. I'll link it right here if I can remember. Um, but this kind of gave me that vibe. Okay, this is all tangled. This is all tangles. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay, that's not. Oh, well, there's two of them. Okay. Okay, we'll put that right here. Okay, I guess we might as well just go ahead and dump everything out. Might as well. Okay. There we go. We have a little itty bitty stud. No markings on it. I was thinking maybe gold, but we'll put it to the side just to make sure. Okay, we have a little horse charm. That is adorable. Put that in a dollar. This looks like another little 925 earring. So we'll put that to the side in case we find the match. Okay, we'll just do a dollar on the horse charm or we'll go into craft. All right. This is all one huge tangle. So we'll take everything that's not in the tangle and look at that. Okay, so we have all of this to look at. We have a clip-on earring. We have a vintage metal, and it's magnetic, so I'm not sure what metal it is. Maybe just 10. Um, and it's vintage. It does have a few little spots on it, but overall not bad. We'll just do $2 on this one. So $2 for that. Okay, we have a bangle bracelet, bangle bracelet, bangle bracelet, and bangle bracelet. These are all bangles. These will all go into craft. If you want all the little bangles, like the thin silver ones, they'll just be a dollar for all of them. Okay, we have a little pendant. Um, not my night. We'll put it this side of the test. We have a little earring. Has all of these really pretty rhinestones all the way around. We'll put that to the side. We have a Halloween, that's cute, earring. Okay, these are all earrings. Okay, this is a pendant. It says, imagine, dream, believe. I'll also just go into craft, dollar. This is a really pretty bracelet. It gives me designer vibes, like something Tory Burch or J. Crew would do. It is a, an acrylic, like a faux tort. Yeah, like a faux tort acrylic link with these gold tone links in between. Really nice little bracelet here. Let's get a length on it. It is an eight, I think. Let's see. It goes from an eight to a ten and a half. So you could wear this as a bracelet or as an anklet. It could go either or. So eight without the extender, 11-ish with the extender. So let's do $3 on that one. That one's really nice. Okay. This looks like something Brighton would do, but it's not. It is marked Napier. Interesting. I would have never thought Napier of this, but it is very nice. It is a um, silver tone, very Brighton-esque um, bracelet with the scroll work. It definitely needs to be polished, but this I would assume this is silver plated. Um, it needs to be cleaned. I'll put a price on the screen if I can clean it. Okay. And if someone wants it uncleaned, there's that too. Um, these are going to craft. We have this pretty... Ooh, this is Mart. C... No, G J D G J D. I don't know if I know that brand. It's really pretty. I do not see the match, unfortunately. So... Oh, this one looks like a Brighton one too. Oh, it's Premier Designs. So that's pretty. Hopefully we get the match. Ooh, I think we have Sterling. 
These look like little 925 hoops. Okay, let's look at these. Let's look at these. They are really pretty, very simple, very dainty. They are about half an inch. They're half inch hoops. And I think these are sterling. Yeah, okay. So they are, oh, they are marked. They are marked 925 IBB something, TH, I think, so Thailand. So yay, we have little 925 hoops. Um, let's just do $10 on them. I will obviously test them just to make sure they are silver. But um, as long as they're silver, I'll put on the screen if they test it or not, $10. Those are nice. We will test them. Okay, this also looks like another little 925 um, earring. Put that to the side. Okay, ooh, this is stunning. I love that. Okay. The rest are gonna go to the side and we will match them up later. Oh my gosh. Look, a little Eminem. I hope we get the match to that. That is adorable. All right. Sorry that took forever. This is a pendant. It is like a piece of quartz or I think it's just glass. Oh no, it's going to quartz amethyst citrine. Interesting. Um, I was thinking this was just glass. I don't think this is gold or sterling. So yeah, it's a nice little size pendant. Uh, just shy of two inches, so an inch and three quarters. So we have that. All right, we have a bracelet. It is gold tone with red enamel stripes. Let's get a length on it. This one doesn't look like it's like the best quality. It's pretty. So it's a seven, eight, or nine, I believe. Yeah, like seven, eight, seven, seven, half, eight. Um, let's just do two dollars on this. It's pretty. Two dollars on that one. Okay, we have a ring. It's a lot of wear that'll go into craft. We have another ring. This looks like sterling. It is, this is marked IBBCN925 and is a really pretty, very dainty, like stacking ring. I'm wondering if these are diamonds because it looks like something you would use for like a, a wedding band. Nope, they're CZ. CZs. So little CZs, let's get a measurement. It is a size seven. So size seven, really pretty little CZ band. All right, let's do um, let's do fourteen on this one. So fourteen dollars has really pretty CZs all across the band, and we will test it to make sure it's sterling. So we have a nice little bit of sterling. Okay, we have another ring. This one looks very Tibetan. Um, let's get a size measurement. It has inlaid coral and turquoise chips. Six and a half inch. Let's just do two dollars on it. There is some wear, but it's really nice. Little coral chip ring. Okay, these are all rings. Here we go. Here's another ring. Okay, this one's not. Um, this one might be silver. We will test it, but let's get a measurement. It is a size nine or just shy of nine. Just shy of nine. Just shy of nine. So basically a nine. Yeah, we will test it. I'll have a price on the screen. Okay, we have this little itty bitty um, flip flop. It's actually marked 925. Okay, I was not expecting that. It's easy. So this is actually marked 925 right there. And it's a little flip flop with little CZs. Um, we will test that as well. Price should be on the screen. Okay, this is very similar to that like faux Tiffany ring, uh, faux Tiffany necklace I got a few weeks back. This is a size seven. That'll just be a dollar. Anyone likes that? It's like an antiqued silver tone. So just a dollar. Okay. Also, guys, we will be announcing the giveaway winner. And then don't forget to come back next week because I will be announcing a new giveaway next week. So... Every week there'll be something different. I want to try and keep it interesting. So this is really long. I'm wondering if this is a belt. This could be a belt. All right, so this is a 34 inch belt plus a six inch extender. There is some very 
slight wear, which I can clean up. Just something sticky was on it. But it's these really pretty like teal and aqua kind of bluish cabochons. They're faceted. And they're all there. Let's just do $4 on the belt. It's really pretty. I love those colors. Kind of something like Chico's would do or something. I think we might have that ring, earring. So that's cool. That will just go with the other ones for a dollar. Okay. So that was that. Hopefully I can edit some of that out. Ooh, look, I think we have a Pure Vita. We do. Guys, I love my Pure Vitas. I used to be a Pure Vita ambassador years ago. Um, I have, I still have a lot of them left in my collection, but this one is a really pretty, like a dusty kind of dark blue with a light aqua and green and black. Really pretty colors. These are like some of my favorite color combos here. Let's do $5 on the Pure Vita. If it doesn't sell, I might keep it, but I will offer it to you guys first. We have a, another one. This one is all burgundy. Also marked Pure Vita. This one is a burgundy color. There's like a small spot right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. We'll just do a dollar on that one. I'm sure it just needs to get washed. They're cotton. So all you can do is put them in your kitchen sink, your bathroom sink, and put some Dawn dish soap and they clean right up. So a heck of a deal for a buck. All right. This is pretty earring. Earrings. So many earrings. And they're almost all singles. <laughs> okay, we have that earring. Kind of gives me Swarovski vibes. Okay, this is pretty. This is a gold tone. Gold tone necklace. It goes from... Uh, 19 to... 22 and these really cute matte gold tone arrows it needs a little bit of a wipe down but that's really cute so little gold tone arrows so if anyone wants that we'll just do three dollars cute sellable piece probably something i'll take to style encore or nomads if no one else takes it this is going into craft a dollar okay By the way, Nomads did take some of my um, like more unique pieces. Um, so I definitely want to try and get more of my kind of weird vintage pieces that um, you know you guys have. I've unboxed, you guys didn't want. Don't really feel like listing myself. Probably gonna take those into there. Okay, this. Oh, this is a plunder. Let's see. I love selling plunder jewelry. They make such cute jewelry. And they're almost, you can almost always find a stock photo of it because um, it's an online brand. This is marked stainless steel. So it is a gold over stainless steel. It says uh, 2004. So maybe if that's, maybe that's a year graduated. Maybe if you have a grandchild or a daughter or anyone born that year, stainless steel, let's just do $2. This is a plunder piece. There's the little plunder tag. And is a long, excellent gold tone um, condition. Oh my goodness, I love this. It's a little pineapple with all of these rhinestones and like a pale pink, like an opalite, a like um, orangey amber, and all of these fun like tassels that also have rhinestones. That is so pretty. Um, let's get a length on it. It does have an extender. So let's see. Without the extender, it is 26. And then it goes uh, 3 to 3.5. Three, 3. Let's do... This is really pretty. Let's do 6 on it. Let's do 6 on the plunder. That is really pretty. I love that. That is definitely a list piece if y'all go um, snag it. Oh! If there's anything that you are interested in, um, all you have to do is send me an email at brightenyourday at yahoo.com. I have it right here. Um, please send me an email. Please include a screenshot or a timestamp with the price of what I said in my video. 
Um, and if you've already purchased from me, awesome. I can, we'll send you the invoice right away. If you are new, I will send you my jot form to fill out. So I have your personal information, like how to bill you, where to send it to. Also, guys, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I have not been checking my spam email. So I don't know. I just don't check it. <laughs> I guess I should have been any person that has sent me email and I never responded back to it. I am so sorry. I checked my spam after my video last week. Um, and I had over 50 emails in spam and that was just from that month. My spam auto deletes messages after like 30 days. So I, if you sent me a message over 30 days ago and I never responded back to it, guys, I am so sorry. I did not get it. I did not see it. I did not open it or read it. I am so sorry. I did try to respond back to everyone who sent me an email last week that was still left in my spam account. But um, I will be checking my spam account weekly now just so I, this doesn't happen again. So I am so sorry if you've sent me an email asking for something and I never responded back to it. It's probably because I did not get it. Okay, so I'm so sorry. And if it's something I still have, feel free to send me an email, you know, and we will, I can see if I can find that item that you were interested in. This is just fashion. We'll just do $2 on it. It does have a little bit of wear on the clasp, but these are really pretty, um, rhinestones so that'll just be two dollars so guys i am so sorry about that i i will definitely be checking my spam folder regularly from now on i i had no idea i had so many messages okay we have a tag oh a chico's tag so that's good i like selling chico's um this does have some wear so let's see we definitely have some wear on that hook um, we have a little bit, very little bit on the chain. It's, this is like an antique. Can you see that? Like an antique silver. So really you cannot tell that it has any wear. This is a Chico's. It has rhinestones and chains and all kinds of fun things. But I don't want you guys to think that like I read your email and just decided not to respond back. I never got your email just in general. This is 36 inches and let, because it has some wear, let's just do $3 on it. That's a really nice Chico's necklace and it does have a little bit of wear. I'll probably still list it if it doesn't sell for my video. Chico's does pretty good. All right. Wow, there's a lot of craft in here. Okay, um, this is also gonna go into the craft. This earring is stuck in here though. I like that earring. Okay, well that's all going to craft. A dollar. All right. This is a pretty little necklace. Um, also, guys, if you guys like watching Thread Up DIY unboxings, my friend Christina over at Stina Resells um, just opened a Thread Up DIY box. I will try and link it right here. This has wear on the chain. If anyone wants that, that'll just be a dollar. It's really pretty beads on that, though. Um, so check out her video. Um, she got a couple of good pieces. I don't want to spoil it. She also got a lot of Charming Charlie. All right, let's see. I cannot get this untangled. And there's no clasp. Oh, there is. Ah, found the clasp. Okay. So this has a lot of wear. Um... It is a Premier Designs piece. There's the Premier Designs logo. That'll just be a dollar. Okay. Oh, we never, we never saw what this was. So this is a necklace. It is a um, ball chain. And they each have one of these little logos. It is a C, G maybe? I've never seen that mark before. I will try to have some information on the screen. If I don't have anything on the screen, if and you know what it is, please share. That's really pretty. This is all faceted crystal. This isn't just like, this is crystal. 
It would be a small chip right there. It's very minute. Absolutely stunning. And this is like black glass, black crystal. I don't know. Um, it has like a bullet kind of casing almost. So I'm gonna have to look into that. Hopefully I'll have a price and some info on the screen on that. Absolutely stunning. Okie dokie. I don't know when I bought this. I don't think there was a receipt in the bag. I don't think there was a receipt in there. So I have no idea when I bought this. I would assume obviously from one of the restocks. <laughs> Let's see, this is actually marked. Um, I think I might say sterling or stainless. It's definitely marked something right there. Let me get my loo. It is marked sterling. I don't know if, it, you're, if that's gonna come off or not, but that is marked, I think, sterling right there. So we will test this. Oh, my brightness came bright for some reason. Um, We will test this. This is all, oh, we have wear on the faux pearls. All right, well, we will test the clasp. If it's sterling, it's still worth a few bucks for the clasp. All right, that stinks. All right, okay. This looks like a Stella and Dot bracelet that I've had, but it is missing. It is broken. No. This will also be craft. If we find the other piece, I'll include it, obviously, so you can fix it, but craft. Oh, guys, this might be just, I might have to call this lot. I'll craft. <laughs> no, we got a few okay pieces. All right, let's see. Um... And if anything, maybe I'll make a few bucks off the ad revenue off of this video, <laughs> if anything. Which, guys, I really appreciate. I get comments from people saying, I watched all your ads. Um, you know, I hit subscribe. It really means a lot to me, guys. So that's also going to be craft. Um, I appreciate everyone who watches my ads. And those who don't, I understand. Um, some of the ads are crazy. <laughs> this is a vintage three-strand faux pearl blue um, and like a cream. Then I have like these like kind of plasticky acrylic loose sight. I'm not sure like beads. Let's just do three dollars on this. It's definitely vintage and it's in good condition. So three dollars on that one if anyone likes it. Okay. I'm not sure with all these tangles. I may not have time to do my sterling lots. Okay. Look, we have a match. This little hoop earring. I think. <gasps> Guys, we have a chain and it's dainty and it's marked something. Woohoo! This might be my breadwinner. Let's see. <gasps> it has a little pendant on it. Ooh, this is cute. I think it's a little bee. <gasps> this looks like sterling. Ooh, okay, I think we have some sterling in this knot, guys. I think we have some sterling in this knot. Yay. Alrighty. Okay, so this one, it did get untangled. The, oh, this is the Missouri, Missouri. Guys, I got that little um, enameled heart and green garnet um, pendant that is Missouri. And they do do sterling. This is probably not going to test a sterling. They do like a triple, quadruple gold plating on their sterling. Um, if you don't know what Mercury is, it is like a high, it's jewelry made to look high end. So like sterling made to look like gold and it's very, it's affordable, um, but also still expensive at the same time. This is adorable. This is a little bee, very dainty little sterling with a gold verme um, bee. It is stamped 925 with the M. So um, some of their pieces can be very collectible, like the heart that I got in my last two videos ago. Um, that, I think it also came from Blue Box. Um, that one had comps, sold comps of over $100. So not sure what this one will comp out at, but I will have a price on the screen. Yay for more sterling though. Okay. Earrings, earrings. Okay. Now if we could just find more. <laughs> This is really pretty. This is really pretty. Okay, this is a Charming Charlie. There's the C. 
These are these faceted, I believe, like an aqua blue glass. They are glass. And it's in excellent condition. I want to say, you know, I get a lot of jewelry. Um, a lot of Avon, Charmy Charlie, Paparazzi. Guys, the lower end pieces, for some reason, are always in good condition. This is a 33 inch. So 16 and a half drop, 33 inch total. Plus um, no extender. Let's do uh, $4 on it. It's really pretty. I love that aqua blue color. It's pretty. And it's sellable if it doesn't sell for my video. Which again, I will have my YouTube linked. Ooh, we have another plunder piece. Okay, so guys, there is a few, there's a few good pieces in here. I wish this was Tiffany. I wish that was Tiffany. Um, let's see if I can untangle it though. Ooh, look, here's the sterling, I think. Um, okay, this is definitely sterling. And we have a pendant. <gasps> look at its little wishbone. Okay, so we have a sterling pendant right here that I have to untangle. This I don't think is gold or sterling. So, hmm. I might have to pause and untangle. Okay, so I'm going to pause and untangle this knot and I'll be right back. Hi, guys. All right. <laughs> We're back. I've untangled everything. All right. And this is what we have. So before we get into this, we are going to go ahead and pull the giveaway winner for the spa night. So you get the um, gold sheet mask, the diamond under eye mask, the collagen lip mask, and the um, vanilla and rose bath fizzer. So you can get all four. If you live within the U.S., free shipping. If you live outside of the U.S., I will split the shipping with you. Um, you have 72 hours from the time this video is posted to send me an email um, at brightenyourday at yahoo.com. Um, so send me an email with your name and your address, and that is it. Oh, and your YouTube name. All right, so we are going to take the video. We are going to copy, share, copy link. All right. So we are going to paste the YouTube link. We're going to filter duplicate users. We are going to filter based off comment and we're going to use the word Easter. Easter. There we go. And we are going to get it. So again, you have 72 hours to respond back. Free shipping um, within the U.S. Outside the U.S., uh, we will split. Um, and that's it. Thank you, everyone. And the only rules that you had to be entered into the giveaway was that you had to comment Easter, like the video, and make sure you were subscribed. So make sure to come back next week because next week we will be doing an all-new giveaway. All right. Three, two, one. And the winner is Dana Miller. Dana Miller, thank you so much for um, commenting. You won. So you got the spa night. I'm going to take a screenshot. So I have that. And please, um, you know, send me an email at brightenyourday at yahoo.com with your name, um, address, and your YouTube name. That's it. All right, guys, let's get back into the video. And everyone put a put a congratulation um, message in the chat for her. Put some confetti, put some party emojis, just, you know, fill the chat up with some congratulatory emojis. All right. Um, this is all craft. So it's like a textured pendant, some um, nasty faux pearls, a little initial A pendant. So that is all going to go into craft. Oh, a little paw print or a little star butterflower i'm not sure that's all craft that whole little things whatever okay this is sterling silver it is so dainty this is like a miniature figaro chain i've never seen a figaro chain this dainty and thin um it is a wishbone and it is signed um r or r and b 925 um, let's Google lens it. 
Let's use, and this is actually a good opportunity to show you guys how to use Google Lens. So you just hit the, um, um, if you have Google on your phone, you just hit that button right there. All right. So then you do that and you do that and it comes up. It is rain and bow. So R and B and it is the Buna BN whatever. Um, it is sold out and it retailed for $76. And it says, I am a great believer in luck. The harder I work, the more luck I have. Thomas Jefferson. Um, it says it's seven eighths of an inch by three fourths of an inch or seven eighths by three fourth inch. Um, adjustable 16 inch length with a two inch extender. Polished oxidized um, finish with a Figaro chain with lobster claw clasp. And it has a five star review with 27 reviews. All right. And it is sold out. So I will have to do some research on what it's going for on the second hand market. Again, it retails for $78. So I will have a price on the screen for that. It's really nice. And of course we will test it to make sure. All right. Um, next let's do these really fun necklaces. And I think either these were sold as a set or I'm not sure, but I think someone would love these. So this is a silver tone um, wire circle. It's on a long chain. It is a 28 inch plus a three inch extender. So this one's $2. Okay. We have this one that is a silver tone kind of squared um, slider pendant. This one is 19 inches plus three inch extender, $2. We have this one that is long. It's just like a skinny silver dangle. This one is 33 inches plus a three inch extender, ah, $2. And then we have this one that's really cool. It's a little octagon, um, really nice silver tone chain. Again, 23 inches plus a three inch extender, $2. So if anyone wants all four pendants, so they were $2 a piece. If someone wants all of them, let's do six bucks. So you get one, two, three, four necklaces for $6, all silver tone, all in good condition. So that's a nice little bundle. I know my style uncle will probably take those if you guys don't. All right, so this is a gold tone chain. It has this really pretty design on it. It's a few little crystals. It's a choker length. It is 11 inch to 13 and a half inch. Let's just do $2 on that one, little choker. This is a nice little bracelet. This is a Druzy, I'm assuming faux. Yes, it's a faux Druzy. It's a little black faux Druzy, gold tone chain. The length goes from a seven to a nine. Let's just do $3 on this one. This one's really pretty, very dainty. That will sell. All right, then we have this little one. This one has a tiny bit of wear on the clasp. So we'll just do a dollar on that. It's adjustable. Okay. We have this one that is a rose gold. Ooh, it's marked, I think. Ooh, we have a Lauren Conrad. So that is the LC Lauren Conrad. There also is an LC that is Liz Claiborne. This one is Lauren Conrad. It is a rose gold with a little piece of mother of pearl. Excellent condition. All right, this is a 16 inch plus a three and a half inch extender. Um, this is Lauren Conrad. I'm sure this retailed for like $25 or more. Let's just do $4 on it. Really pretty, very dainty. Mother of Pearl Real Genuine Shell with Rose Gold. Really pretty, I like that. And it's sellable if it doesn't sell. Okay, this is a Rose Gold chain again. This is marked actually, hold on. L-A-C-N and the clasp is not marked. I don't think this is silver. No, it is not silver. Um, LACN, I wanna say um, they do a lot of like Swarovski crystal jewelry. 
they're the ones like if you go to Macy's or if you go to Kohl's, they're like the ones that are in the little gift box. And they retail for like $50. Um, this is 16 inch plus a two inch extender. Let's do $4 on this one as well. A rose gold with the um, what I would assume is Swarovski crystals. Really pretty, very dainty. I zoomed in a little bit, very dainty. Sellable if it doesn't sell. Okay, this is a nice little gold tone. I think this is like a flat herringbone chain. I love a good herringbone chain. These are very on trend right now. These are very quiet luxury. People are taking these and then stacking them with, you know, other chains. People are, I would even wear the mixed metal. So I would wear this little rose gold with it. And then I would even add on, you know, maybe one of the silver tone necklaces to it. And I would wear a full on mixed metal set of all three chains. I think that would be really pretty. Um, if anyone wants this, let's get a length on it. It does have an extender. It's in very good condition. It is 16 inches plus a two inch extender. Let's do $4 on this one as well. Again, it's a gold tone herringbone chain. Something I know my Style Encore Nomads will take if it doesn't sell. This has a lot of hair in it, so that's gonna go into craft. Someone just needs to take that hair out. Has a little charm that connects the three bangles. Craft. All right, this is a little gold tone. I don't think this is like actual gold. Although they did make these little boy and girl charms in gold. So you never know. It is not. That'll just go into craft. Actually, you know what? I think that'd be really cute to craft with for me. You know, I'll put it up for craft. And if no one wants it, then I'll just keep it. So a dollar. Okay. We have this little men's or women's unisex adjustable bracelet with the Howlite black and brown cord. That'll just be a dollar. Okay. We have, this is really cool. This is a choker necklace. And it's a black like ribbon, black and gold ribbon. And it has all of these like dainty like beads. And it has like one little butterfly that dangles in the middle. So that's so cute. We get a length on it. 16 to 18 plus. And I'll just be $2. That one's really pretty. Okay, next we have a little owl. It is like an antique copper brassy kind of color. Um, we have an owl, a leaf, a heart, a little piece of howlite and a piece of wood. That'll just be $2. It's cute. Okay, we have this gold tone cuff with a cross that's been cut out of the metal. It is bendable. We'll just do $2 on that. It does have some scratches. It's nice. Okay, these I think would could go unisex. These are just very, very long. It does have a spring ring clasp. Um, it is a total inch 37, 27, I think, or um, 57, oh, the board, 54 inch, 27 inch drop, 54 inch total. It is a silver tone, almost like a paper clip chain, but it's slightly twisted. In really good condition, men's or women's. Let's just do $3 on it. We have another that would be a good unisex piece. A 23 inch length. Again, $3 if anyone likes that. It's probably stainless steel, but I don't know. Okay, next we have this really pretty statement necklace. Um, it does have some wear on the gold tone, but this is a good brand. This is Natasha. It's actually a pretty good brand of, um, you know, jewelry. If, if you see it out in the thrift, it usually resells okay. It does have all the rhinestones, I think. Um, it does have somewhere, let's just do a dollar on it, but it's really pretty. I'm gonna, that's pretty. Okay, this, oh look, we do have the match to these. These will just be a dollar. Okay, these, um, do they make Bakelite in this color? Oh, nope, there is a seam, so it's not Bakelite. But really pretty, I guess, Lucite. It has a vintage jump uh, spring ring clasp. This is definitely vintage. Um, it is a 32 inch. Love that pink color. It's 
pretty. And then on the subject of vintage, we have two vintage, two more vintage necklaces. So we have this one. This is like an orange, coppery kind of color, gold, really pretty, like bronzy kind of colors. Um, it is gold tone findings. It's in pretty good shape. Oh, we, um, it is marked Hong Kong, which I think that's good. I think, you know, if it's marked Hong Kong, it's pretty good. Let's do $5 on this one because it is marked Hong Kong. Pretty colors on there with that kind of rusty and coppery. It's pretty. That's a listable piece. All right. And then we have this piece that is also marked. Okay. This one is part, I think this is Japan or you, Japan. So this one is marked Japan. Again, a faux pearl. I think these are vintage silk beads. So this is um, silk. Let's see how the faux pearls are condition wise. So a little bit of markings on the silk beads, but the faux pearls are in pretty good shape. So we'll do the same. Um, this one's a vintage Japan. Let's just do $5 on it. If anyone needs links on these, just send me an email. So those are definitely sellable. All right, this is a belt, I think. That's just gonna go into craft. But if someone needs the chain to craft with, there's a lot of chain there. All right. This is a um, like a memory wire or a fishing wire kind of necklace. These are These are glass beads, black and metallic, black glass and metallic. That'll just be a dollar. Probably gonna throw that in the craft just because those necklaces are kind of hard for me to sell. This is very unique. This, I think is really cool. Um, these are all shell. These are like little shell flowers. Like, look how cool that is. And they're all like little dace, lace doilies. How unique is that? And there is like a real shell. So that is really unique. Let's get a measurement on it. It is a 15 inch ish plus with a two inch extender. So 15 to 17. Let's do six on this. I think this could be something. And if it doesn't sell, I think Nomads will definitely take that. It's very unique. They like really unique things. Okay, and then these, I have two of them. Both of them, or this one says made with love. Again, it's like that cord needs to be washed. Um, they wanted $12 for it somewhere. This one is a teal color with this really pretty design on the bar. Also needs to be washed. Let's just do both of those for $2. All right. And then we have this that has a vintage jump ring clasp. And these are all, I think, these are glass faux pearls that are hand tied in between each pearl. Oh wow, they are. Okay, so this is definitely vintage. Hand knotted, good condition. A lot of times you find vintage pearls and they're all like scratched up. This is um, 50, 59 inches of faux pearls, glass faux pearls, 59 inches. Um, let's do $5 on that. Those are all vintage glass faux pearls. Okay, and then um, that's it. Oh, oh, no, we have this. This I wanted to look up. This is the plunder necklace. This is so cool. Um, if I were to list this, which I would if it doesn't sell from a video, I would use keywords like steampunk. I would do boho. Oh my gosh, there's so many keywords I would use for this. It is a faceted, I believe, glass. Um, lock it almost with a skeleton key inside the key with like little pearls. We have a flower. We have a faceted teardrop. We have an arrow. We have this um, like almost like a little compass. I think this opens. There is a hinge on it. This opens. It does. That's cool. It is long. Let's see. This is about... 35 to 36 inches like just shy of 36 but just over 35 um let's cool lens this really quickly because i think we're running out of time <laughs> and i have filmy dinner in like 10 minutes okay 
Um, let's just Google Lens this. Okay, let's see. Oh, there it is on Pinterest. Let's um, open it. Okay, it's $36 on Pinterest, or someone showed it on Pinterest for $36. Let's see, here it is. So it's called the Anita necklace. It's 30 to 33 inches, so it was a little off there. I don't think that includes the extender, though. Um, working locket, perfect to place your diffusers for, for essential oils. It looks like it was $28. So, um, let's do, let's do 15 on it. Cause I'll probably list it for 30. So if anyone likes that, we'll do 15. All right guys. So that was my box. We do have a few things to test for sterling. So let's get into that. Alrighty guys, so here's everything. I forgot, I did find this ring too, which I kind of really like, it fits me. Um, and we, I went ahead and scratched that as well and I forgot to show that to you guys. So we did have this little ring. It's not marked anything, but I do think it's silver. All right, so I have everything scratched here. I can already tell a few of them are not gonna be silver, but we'll just double check just to make sure. And if you don't know how to test for silver, go on Amazon, go and buy a, um, a premium obsidian testing stone. I do not use the little cheap tile that comes with the set. I buy the premium obsidian stone, it's a premium obsidian testing stone, I think is what it's called. And it is amazing. Um, I have one in two different sizes, one for silver, one for gold. Um, and it's just, it's great. Okay, so. This is not testing for sterling, even though it's Mark 925. Now it could have a really thick rhodium plating on it, but again, it's not testing. Um, yeah, it's not testing. So we'll just do $2 on the little charm. This is not testing as anything. This is not, this did not test for sterling. So I will have a price on the screen and a little bit more research on that. It must be just be really heavy silver plated. Um, this is not testing for sterling. I thought for sure that class would be silver. Let's just do $3 on it. It's still a really cool link bracelet. Um, this isn't testing for sterling, which I already said it's not going to because of the really thick gold plating. I will test, I will do my research on this to make sure it's authentic. This, oh, it did. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. That did test for silver. Okay, this did not test for silver. So that'll go into craft. This did test for sterling, lit up bright blue. So the um, B did test for sterling. So the B is silver. It just has a very thick gold um, over it. Okay. Next we have, ooh, this ring is silver. It is shining up bright blue. So that is great. It is a size eight. If anyone wants this, we will do $12 on it because if it doesn't sell, I will keep it. Look how cute that is. I love that. Um, again, if anyone wants it, $12. Oh, guys, I forgot to wear my ring. Oops, oh well. Um, $12 on the sterling ring. This little single pendant is sterling. Um, we only got one of them though. So if anyone wants the little pendant, um, use this as a charm, use it as a pendant. We'll do uh, $4 on the st sterling silver earring. This is not silver. These little hoops are, so I think I said $10 on them. So it's a double hoop. Do you see how it's like two hoops connected? Those ones are $10. Um, this ring is not sterling. So what size was this? This was a size nine. Let's just do $2. $2 for the ring. This ring is sterling and it's size seven. And um, I can't remember if I, see, I gave a price on this or not. So I will have it on the screen. All right, so these were singles. So I have this little single butterfly um, pendant. I have this little single kind of Moroccan style pendant and I have these two single, um, earrings. I think would just make such cool charms or pendants. If anyone wants them, they'll just be $2, 50 cents a piece. All right. 
So that was my box. So we got one, two, three, four, five pieces of sterling. I'll take that as a win, guys. I mean, you know, Goodwill Blue Box usually they they don't mess around. They they want their sterling and gold. <laughs> Um, this one did come from Tennessee. So for Tennessee, I think this was great. We got some vintage pieces like the Japan, um, the Hong Kong, the Missouri. Oh, we got six. We got six sterling pieces. Six sterling pieces. We got some plunder. We got some good, just like layering pieces. We got this stunning alpaca cuff. We got this really pretty charming Charlie. Just overall, it was a pretty good box. All right, guys. So actually, before we end it, I am going to go ahead and do our sterling lot. Um, I was going to do three. Um, we'll see how much we get through. First thing I got was this gorgeous fluorite. If you guys don't remember, I did a... Um, I did a thread up DIY jewelry unboxing and I got an absolutely stunning fluorite necklace that had pave diamond or moissanite um, tog or clasp. Well, I have been on the hunt. I had so many people interested in, interested in that necklace, um, which I still have. I went ahead and decided to see if I could find another one to offer to you guys. So this is a toggle clasp, has a really cute little um, flower on the toggle. There we go. It is supposed to be sterling silver with pearls in fluorite. We will test it while well, that warms up. Um, they, they have absolutely stunning, we have like a um, little pearls. This one's like a little blue pearl, a purple pearl, a white pearl, a blue pearl, a blue pearl, a purple pearl. So really pretty mix of um, pearls and stones on that. And let's go ahead and test the class just to make sure it is sterling as it's supposed to be. So as long as this is testing as sterling, which it is, there's your sterling hit. Um, we will be doing a price on this. Yes, it is going up to in that. Um, well, it's actually a little going over Iolite. It's going it's in between like Tourmaline, Iolite, Jadeite, Spinel. It's like in that family. Let me show you. See? Right there. Okay, so if anyone's interested in this, let's do $40. So this will be $40 for the Iolite Pearl Necklace. Really stunning. Oh, and length. Hello. I was trying to get you guys a length and I completely forgot. This is an 18 inch length. 18 inch length and this will be $40. Absolutely stunning piece. All right. If that doesn't sell, I wouldn't mind keeping that in my collection. All right. Next, we have some rings. I paid $22.71 for this lot. Um, again, not sure if that was including shipping or not. We have this really pretty one. It is um, a silver with a gold vermeil on the top. I'm trying to see if there's any markings. It is smart. Um... A uh, cursive A925 copyright. I am not familiar with that um, maker's mark. And this one is a size seven or just shy of seven. Price will be on the screen for that one. This one, I'm really on the fence if I want to keep or not. It is an absolutely stunning, very ornate cross. It is just absolutely stunning. Um, it is signed ATI Mexico 925, ATI Mexico 925, and this one is a size eight and a half. I'm really on the fence if I want to sell this one or not. It is just so pretty. Okay, next we have, I believe this is a Siam. I think that's how you pronounce it, Siam, Siam. Um, and it is black with the little, I don't know, like a little... I'm not sure what that is, to be honest. But it is a bypass ring. It's mean there's an opening in the middle. This one is marked CT 
star sterling. I'm not sure what that means. And this one's a, uh, it's about an eight. It goes from a seven and a quarter, seven and a half to an eight, depending on how loose or tight you want it. Price will be on the screen. This one is also probably going to be a keeper if it doesn't sell to you guys. This one is a made, made in China with an emblem and the 925. This one is a size eight. I love a good, just solid band. Good for stacking, good to just mix it up. That one's nice. And then last but not least is this absolutely stunning pink opal. Again, a bypass ring, but this one is connected. And this one is marked AK925. And that one is a size seven and a quarter. And that'll be a price on the screen. And look how stunning that opal is. Just absolutely stunning. It has like that pink, yellow, green, purple. Just stunning. All right, guys, one second. All right, so that was my ring lot. If you were interested in any of these rings, send me an email. All right, and the next, we have a sterling silver um, pendant lot. I paid $40 for this one. I bought it because there was a couple I wanted to keep. There was a couple I wanted to keep. Um, and I saw some I thought I could for sure be able to resell. So I'm going to go ahead and lay those all out. Got some opals. We got some moonstones. We have some sterling. I'm not sure what else we have. So there's our little pendants. All right. So first thing, I'm just going to go ahead and start off with a bang. This stunning moonstone. So this is four cabochons of moonstones. And it does glow. It's not coming off as glowy. But it definitely has some nice glow to it. Really nice. Um, I don't think it was stamped anything but just absolutely stunning. That one will be for sale. This one, on the other hand, is going to be a keeper for me. I just absolutely love this lot. I bought this lot for basically for these two. I knew these two alone would be more than $40. So I'm like, I'm gonna take a chance on it. All right, I think this is Topaz. And this one's testing as Spinel, but this is testing as Topaz. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on that. Um, but that is absolutely stunning. This is definitely going to be a keeper. Next, we have this really fun little square pendant. This one is marked um, TB-1520. So this is Taxco. And this is Mexico 925. And I want to say it's a little piece of jade. Yes. So this is jade. In Taxco. This one will also be for sale. Um, we have this little, um, I believe this is Ross Simons. It is. So we have a Ross Simons. There's the little Ross Simons mark. 925CZ. It's a really pretty little um, square cut pendant with CZs. This one is so fun. I think this is amber. It is marked T. E-24 Mexico 925, so another Taxco piece. Um, and this is a pressed flower set inside amber, I believe. I will test it and I will have hopefully have some information right here on the screen. But that is just so pretty. We have this little sterling silver, um, I want to say that maybe hibiscus. Really pretty, probably from Hawaii if I had to guess, or Australia. Love that one. Then we have this one is so cute. This one is marked 925. Little butterfly charm. And it is a pendant. So you just put the chain right through. Love that. This one I do not think is silver. Um, It's supposed to be silver, but this is not silver. So we'll see about that. And then we have the little um, anchor. That is also marked. Um, IFS Stir. I don't know IFS, so I will have to look that up. And there's also a little maker's mark. So I don't know that one, but cute little anchor. And then last but not least, we have the stunning 
little 925 Opal Hamza. Really cute Opal Hamza. Um, and that is just really pretty Opal. All right, so let's go ahead and test everything. The um, fluorite necklace did test for sterling. But let's go ahead and test the pendants and the rings. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and test everything. Everything is supposed to be sterling. These are from sterling silver lots that I purchased. So everything should be testing us sterling, and we do. So all of the pendants test us sterling besides the one I didn't think it was. So I was right, this is not sterling. So let's do $2 on this if anyone likes it. Just a little fashion faux Pandora charm. That one just be two. And then again, um, all of the rings, all of the rings tested for sterling. And even though I absolutely love this ring, if someone is interested, I will part with it. So prices should have been on the screen for all of those pieces. And that's it guys, that is my box. Um, that was my Goodwill blue box. That was my two or three shop Goodwill lots. Um, again, if there's anything in this video that you are interested in, all you got to do is send me an email at brightenyourday at yahoo.com. And also I do want to, um, say something. I did have someone who asked, I do volunteer for the whole summer. And one of my friends suggested that I should turn on the, um, I think it was called like super stickers or I'm not really sure how it works, but basically if you want to become like a, if you want to purchase like a one-time sticker or one-time like super fan membership or something like that, the money that I get from the supers, I will be putting towards my plane ticket and travel um, for volunteering for the summer. I volunteer at a youth camp where I teach woodworking and um, all sorts of other things, but woodworking is my main um, helping area. And um, I have to pay my way to get there. Um, it's about 18, 17, 18 hours away from where I live. Um, I don't really drive it <laughs> that far, but um, you know, plane tickets are also very expensive and all that jazz. But anyways, one of my friends just suggested that if I turn on the supers thing and I just want to disclose any money I get from that will be going towards my plane ticket. So that's that. Um, I hope everyone liked this video. Again, if you would please leave me a thumbs up, if you'd please leave a comment and um, let me know what your favorite piece was. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.